You cannot make this up. For being here. First, when you saw that video of Diddy, Cassie uh, in that hotel, did you recognize that Sean Combs? Um, what I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, um, everything in the video is egregious. I'm against, uh, I don't support, uh, all the charges that's alleged against them. I don't support any of that traffic and minors, uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. Uh, no, being that I know him, he's not necessarily a friend, but yeah, I was upset when I seen it. But did, did you recognize everything him? I just said? Did you recognize right. that I kind of anger at all from your experiences? I don't know him like that. What did you mean? Do I be recognized? Did I recognize him? I seen him. What do you mean my experiences? I seen him and I thought I thought it was disgusting. I didn't do a zoom in to see if it was really him or nothing, but he admitted it was him. So, yeah, it was him. What did you think about the apology that he gave in that other video? Ain't me for this. The apology ain't for me to decide for Cassie. What, what I what I think about it don't matter. He ain't do nothing to me. Cassie need to need to ask Cassie if she accept the apology. I told you how I feel. I said what I said. I want to play a conversation that you had on your podcast back in September with Mace. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yeah. When you had your record mm, deal, why did you take me to Biggie Smalls and not um, Bad Boy? Man, it's almost gonna bring me to tears to say this. I just. Being that I saw you as as such a good friend, I wanted to put you with somebody I knew with. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. A lot of people ask me that on Instagram, yeah, I knew man. Don't have me that's why I'm here crying and shit, it. man. I don't want to get emotional knew, in here, man. Instantly, I knew Biggie would would do right by you. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I mean, is there? Um, is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Um, I'm just going off what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what May said. And of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how. Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there. But for me to tell you mm -hmm. how Puff acting and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that was inviting me to. Yo, who, yo, who booked me for this joint? All right. Oh, wow, and I'll be Cameron, sitting around watching Diddy and all that? Yeah, thanks, man, come on, man. This thanks for crazy, joining man. us. Thank you for your time tonight. Yeah, yeah yo, thank, yo, thank you for having me. You enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Caesar, man. Shout out to Caesar, man. Yo, 